Right, so we're going to take a look about how to implement the selection sort algorithm. The selection sort algorithm will normally sort an array. So we just go ahead and create a private error element. Then we create a constructor. which is going to take the array and just going to this dot error row is equal to error row and the next part of it is we're going to have a method uh, the method is going to normally perform the select uh, let's name it perform so we're just going to perform the sorting point. Right, so let's go ahead. Now, in selection sort, we have an inner loop that starts with the first element and then it's going to move on each time. Okay, you can go ahead and see my animation on selection sort. You will understand it better. So, here we're going to say so we have three two, four, five. We're going to go through the first element, three, and find the minimum out of this. So we need another loop that is going to find the minimum out of this. So this is normally another loop for finding this minimum. So here we're going to say that for now the minimum is at index i. Sorry guys, my keyboard. Right. For now the minimum is at index i. Now we're going to use another loop for int j is equal to i plus 1. Like I said, if you're using 3, 4, 5, 12 for example, you have this first element, you have to compare one more element of this. So this concept is very important. When we're going to study insertion sort algorithm, then we're going to learn that how we're going to normally shift the element. Now, we're going to compare each time if normally the element that I got at this position is less than compared to what is my current minimum. That is, if I'm passing on 3, 2, 4, 5, and then 12, therefore, when I come to 3, we're just going to put 3 as a selected index i, so index 0, and then we're going to find the minimum out of this. So we're going to say, for now my minimum is 3, and is 2 less than 3? Yes, it's less, so for now my minimum is at index 1, right? Next we're going to compare, no, it's not less than 2, it's not less than 2, it's not less than 2. Now, compared to if I had a 1 here, and for now my minimum element is at index 1, so here it's going to say, oh, no, no, I'm too large compared to 2. It's going to come to 1, oh, so I'm less than 2, so I'm just going to swap that mean value to the specified index. So for this, what we have to uh, normally do is just set the minimum to it as i. Right now, at this part, you normally got the element, got minimum. Now, remember that we were swapping the element. So, the concept of swapping is very simple use a variable to keep track of the stored element. Uh, normally, that's going to be either error or min, you're going to keep track, and then you're going to swap error or min with error or i. To store the content of error or min with content error or i, then finally do error or i equal to temp, which is normally. So the swapping has been done, even the selection sort has been done. Right, so the next part to do is we're going to normally 
create a function that's going to print the content out of it. Right, so for this we're going to use for int i equal to zero i less than error or dot then plus plus i and we're just going to set system dot out dot print ln and we're just going to print the content of the array to test if it is normally in order. Now let's create a main method for accessing this. So we're just going to do selection sort, create an object. So we're just going to do selection sort. S1 is equal to new selection sort. And like I said, we need to pass an array. So we're just going to say int error is an array. And it is equal to 23, 12, uh, 5, 3, 1. Right, and then we're going to pass that error here, and then we're doing going to do, sorry, s1 dot perform the sort, then s1 dot. Right, just to make sure that has been sorted. So go ahead, save your program. Right, so there is an error somewhere. So let's go ahead and take a look what is happening. Yes, so we're in this dot error is equal to that. Then when we are performing the sort, that's going to give us right, So there is really a problem here. Let me go through this. So this is printing error or i and this is performing the swap so what we're doing is for in the i error or we're going to get the min and if the current error or j is less than error or min right so here's the error that should be j so because this is the current minim minimum element and then you re-execute it and here we go the results are clearly here. So we have sorted normally 2, 12, 5, 3, 1. Sorry for this small mistake, that should be minj. Right, so here are the elements sorted carefully. Now, how to implement that recursively? We're going to take that, uh, we're going to take a look at it in the next part of this lecture on selection sort.